Hey guys, you saw how I was ripping Trump's daughter-in-law, Lara, for her weird fascist efforts to talk about how she wants to purge all the non-MAGA cultists from the party when she takes over the RNC. Uh, well, I was talking about that here on this YouTube page and then a little bit on MSNBC, and uh, one Steve Bannon did not like that none too much. Um, they got their cackles up over on the Real America's Voice Wayne's World Network, and um, well, I just figured you'd enjoy uh, watching them you know, kind of turn over in their heads uh, the fact that Maybe, just maybe, um, they're part of a weird, creepy, authoritarian cult, and the daughter-in-law of a candidate shouldn't be taking over a party. Let's watch it together. Um, but like, <laughs> put, it your, put it in your calendars, folks. This is a moment for history. <laughs> well, I, yeah, let me play it. I'll explain myself afterward. I can assure you there will be no funny business. Anyone who is not on board with seeing Donald Trump as the 47th president and America loving patriots all the way down the ticket being supported by the RNC is welcome to leave because we are not playing games and we have no time to waste. So we have to ensure that every single penny of every dollar donated goes to the causes people care about. <laughs> Can we We're do this is the January 6 family. Can we just do a little like, brief piece of semiotics like what is that network you might know? What is uh, that? Real what is that? What is that? Uh, like? Real America's Voice. I, oh, I try to watch one hour of it. It's, it's it's one of the core uh, Bannon's on it, Charlie Kirk's on it. Uh, uh, it's a TV network it's on uh, Drag TV. Yeah, the whole thing for that video though it does it feels like either like Wayne's World or like Belarus or like a combo <laughs> yeah. of it, right? Where it's like the the daughter-in-law has now taken over the party Coach and she is <laughs> demanding loyalty and she's like the daughter in law says if you do not have full loyalty to my father-in-law you're out wasn't that a couple of years ago where you had all of those tv stations around the country reading that same disclaimer yeah, yeah, yeah. Sinclair. Sinclair. it's the same clear thing it's, it's that, the same that thing. echo thing it's, it's great thing. because it says candidate for rnc co-chair the president's daughter-in-law there's also like a getter tag on yeah. there again they're like it's got all these it's like a, it's a down market truth social it's like it's like, <laughs> it's like swahili it has these, these like the different but what, but all that getters, the down market, true social. That is Tim Miller, John Howman, and of course my favorite, Nicole Wallace. What Laura Trump said is exactly what people want her to say. The RNC, they're going to go in a clean house, get very focused. Every penny's going to win in November. I don't know why that's a laugh fest, but yes, Real America's Voice uh, is now uh, breaking through the uh, the white noise of the mainstream media. With Charlie Kirk, uh, War Room, of course, John Fredericks early morning. You got Gruber, you got uh, Miranda Khan, uh, and um, Tara Dahl. Of course, Charlie Kirk, Jack Basovic, the Studio Eight guys, right? You got uh, you've got uh, Just the News, a show that follows us. It's just incredible, John Solomon, just an incredible uh, Amanda Head. You got the uh, you got an incredible lineup, and it's starting to have an impact. And now we know. Uh, what Tim Miller, Tim Miller, and remember, Tim Miller is a guy. When I was running Breitbart, Tim Miller. The guy in the pukas or the pearls, whatever it is, my staff still can't decide. Uh, Carrie Lake's favorite, I might add. Tim was actually the comms director <laughs> over for Rice Previs at the RNC. I'm not making this up. Tim Miller was actually at the RNC for years as a comms director. He's a pretty good comms director, too. Uh, but he went to the dark side when President Trump came on the scene. But I think Laura Trump, I mean, I don't see anything wrong. What she said is exactly what we want. We want to cl clear it, purge the building over there, get rid of all the consultants, and Laura Trump. Uh, La Savita and Watley take charge, and every penny goes to, guess what, to to what Rachel Maddow was all worried about last night. Voter integrity stopped the election crimes. They can't beat us unless they steal it. We know that. We're ascendant right now.